to be a debt collection. I'm not going to get into your personal life. I don't want to know if you're on a debt collection or if you're collecting debts. It's personal business and I don't need to know. Evaluating the effective strategy of debt collection speech given by Stanley Mark is going to be the evaluator that's going to be Ching Chi Min. It's Ching Chi Min here. Oh, you've been so quiet all night. Yes. So, yes. Have you been here before? It's my third time. <laughs> so you've heard Fernando's evaluation yeah, yeah. techniques and tips. You've been listening. Yes. Go tell me. Give the evaluation. Yeah. <laughs> so let's give a round of applause to the home. Come on over here. There has to be some body language here, right? Mm -hmm. So who's the next speaker? The next speaker is going to be uh, Mr. Stanley Mark. I want you to welcome him to the stage. Uh, Mr. Mark, uh, take it away. Have you ever experienced difficulty in collecting debts? Yes. <laughs> All the time. Who has suffered from bad debt problems? Mm. Raise your hands. A lot of you. <laughs> believe or not, believe or not, there are people out there, there are always people out there who chin you not to pay for you, believe or not. Yes. Yeah. If you have experienced that there are problems, then you understand whatever I'm going to talk about. It's real. Some of them are large companies, believe or not. It's amazing. You know, especially when you do big companies and your company is not so big. They try to really run you down. They try not to pay you. It's amazing that companies like this walk into the world with this problem. What can you do? Sue them? Sue them all? <laughs> If the amount of money is larger than twenty thousand dollars Singapore, it is a very time-consuming process to get your money back. First of all, you have to make a lot of efforts. You really have to talk to lawyers, go through a lot of legal processes to sue them. And at the same time, believe it or not, <coughs> the legal fees will kill you. If the legal fields will cost an arm and a leg. <laughs> the worst is that you may never win. At that time, you are losing on both ends. So what are you going to do with three hours or more debts? Small debts. Anything which is between probably ten to twenty thousand dollars, you have to apply to the so-called small claim tribunal. Yes. Have you ever gone through that? Yes. Have you? Yes. You have gone through that. Okay. And it's got to be smaller than ten thousand up to twenty thousand dollars. And it's, the loan has to be or the debt has to happen within one year. If it is older than one year you can't apply for a sort of help for, from the small know, and the worst is that you, as a claimant, and the counter claimant must be involved, and both of you have to submit all this online to the community just, justice and tribunal systems. It's a pain in the neck. How can you get the, the debtor to submit online together with you? And there's a fee. 3% for 20,000 to 20,000 dollars. But what about foreign companies which are outside of Singapore? How do you sue them? But I have a strategy, and this strategy has worked for me, I have to emphasize, repeatedly. The business must be a sort of ongoing concern. And regardless of how big is the debt and where it is located and the size of the company, 
it works. It works for me repeatedly. And whether the company is famous or not famous, it has worked. Wow. And you may, you may guess, what should we do? I share with the real case. This is time tester. I repeated it. <coughs> and then guess what? This is a real case that I've gone through. The largest search engine in China. You know the name. I don't have to say anything. It is a very, very tedious process to open an account with them. And you have to put money inside the account before you even run the ad campaign. They promise you the balance of the funds will be refunded to you within six months. Okay, that's the case that I've gone through. I've got all the documentation done, submitted to them after the campaign, after six months, no refund. After nine months, no refund. After one year, no one refund. year after the campaign, no refund. What are you may say that hey, you have not taken any actions. All wrong. If you know how many, how many <coughs> emails that we have sent to them, how many calls that we have made to the customer center, I can tell you, the customer center staff are very apologetic. <laughs> but no but money. <laughs> because they keep saying to me that the finance department doesn't want to do it. I will refer this to your finance department and they keep this. And then I said, what can I do? What can I do? It's a lot of money there, but they simply don't want to pay you. Give up? No. no way. But I've got some tips from a Chinese friend. He's a Chinese from China. He knows the trick. And he said, do this, and then you get money back. That's what I did. This, he said, this is a well-known tactic in China, as well as big companies. The senior manager doesn't even, they don't really know about what's happening. It is the finance department who wants to score points for the company. Now they can tell the, the senior managers, see, within this year, I have kept so much <coughs> money from all the advertisers, and we refuse to get them back to them. Then they score points, they get more bonuses. And it applies primarily to smaller advertisers, and especially foreign advertisers like us in Singapore. So it becomes a problem. And you may say, well, what can we do? And here comes what I did, how to get the refund. I just sent one email, and this email is powerful, powerful medicine. The email listing, all the actions that I could take. Within the same day, I replied from the company saying that get your bank account details. Within 40 hours, I got the money back. Wow. And you can wonder what I did in the email, and that is the gist of the strategy. It has worked, I guarantee you. In future, if you need any advice from me, call me. Okay. Let's set the email. I'll post the case to all marketing groups in China as well as international markets. On Facebook, LinkedIn, forums, WeChat, etc. With screenshots of all the email that I sent to them and they'll reply. You have to show the evidence to all these people. Once I did that, their whole response is totally different. I got the money back within 48 hours. You may say that this is an isolated case. Yes or no? It's a repeated success. I did it again with another company, local simple company. It is selling smart glasses. I did the same thing. I got the money back. So, in a nutshell, the more, the gist of it is to make the data famous, make them famous among <laughs> the existing and potential customers with proofs. They are all frightened because you are not talking to the general public. You talk to their customers. You make them so famous that nobody <coughs> wants to deal with them. And then the finance department will be fired.
if this has happened, so as a result, if in future you have the same problem, talk to me. I'll be more than happy to share with you. Thanks. Wow. Thank you.